this is the Provoke Prawn. And have you got a problem with Corsair's IQ link system where it's flashing red, or your fans and other bits are flashing red when you're gaming or doing other things? Well, here's some fixes for you. The first is the obvious one, which is to head over to IQ, click on the cog icon on the top, and then check for firmware updates on the link system hub. You might find that there aren't any updates, and the current one, 1 1.3.302, is the latest version, at least at the time I'm making this video, that may change in future. But just in case, I'd recommend doing that and checking for software updates, because sometimes an IQ system update may well help, and with finding firmware versions. Interestingly though, Corsair has actually formally acknowledged the problem with IQ link flashing red on its own forums, saying that the system flashing red is actually an overcurrent protection warning and it's a false positive. So it's flashing red because it thinks there's something wrong with the system and it's trying to let you know, but in reality it's not actually a problem. It's worth checking there aren't issues with overcurrent in your system in other ways, but if you're confident your system is fine, then you can download this firmware update to fix it anyway. I'll leave links in the description so you can access these. But essentially there's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. You just need to download the zip file and it's really straightforward. So just download that zip file and keep it in your downloads folder. Head back over to IQ, click on the little three dot icon below there and look for browse for firmware update. Click on the zip file and then select update now. That will then run through and update you into the beta firmware. Now, obviously, in the future, you might have an official public release of newer firmware, which will also sort this issue out and replace this. But currently, it's 1.3.328, and that will fix your issue. With that update applied, we can then go back through the usual process of going in and changing our RGB lighting, either via murals or individually with the IQ RGB settings. I've done a video separately on how to manage your IQ's RGB if you're having some issues that I'll link to in the description. But what I found is it's fixed my problem and now I can enjoy the usual RGB lighting that you'd expect from Corsair rather than that distracting flashing red issue, which is obviously annoying. So that means you can go back to gaming and not get distracted constantly. If you found this video useful, subscribe or at least smash that thumbs up to say thank you. I really appreciate you. Enjoy your gaming sessions. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.